Hey, what's going on guys? This is Matt. If you're like me, then you hate seeing ads on your favorite websites, especially on your phone, because they can be super annoying. Today, I wanted to make a quick little video showing you guys how to easily block pretty much any type of ad on Android devices. So, let's get started. Everything in this video can be completely done on your Android device. So first, go into your settings and then security. Swipe down until you find unknown sources and you're gonna to wanna to toggle that on. Next, open Chrome or whatever Android browser you use and search for Android Adblock Plus Dev Builds. Go to the first website on Google, which should look somewhat like this. The reason why you want the latest dev build is because it will give you the most updated version of Adblock, unlike on their main website, which really isn't optimized for Android 5.0 and up. Go ahead and download the most recent dev version, and then once it finishes, open it up and install it. If it won't open, don't worry. Just go back and download the version under it and keep trying until you find one that does work. It shouldn't take more than a minute, and once it's complete, you'll get the Adblock Plus app. Now, you're still not finished. You'll need to go into the app and then tap in the upper right to go into the advanced settings. Tap Show Configuration and remember the local port number, which in my case is 2020, then go into your Wi-Fi settings, long press on your current Wi-Fi network, then go to Modify Network. Show the advanced options, then scroll to Proxy Settings and select Manual. Set the proxy to localhost and the port number to the number that was given to you. For me, it's 2020, so I'll enter that. Once you're finished doing that, you can go back into the app to clean stuff up, like blocking all ads and hiding the icon in the notifications, but that's pretty much it. To make sure it's working for you, go to a website like wired.com, for example, and you shouldn't see any ads. Also, make sure to restart your phone if websites aren't loading properly, but that's about it. Hopefully this helped you out, and as always, if you have any questions, leave a comment, I usually always respond. If you guys like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, it really does help me out. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one.